How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Battlefield 2042 video. Now today's video is going to be more of a rant style video. I don't really have any like tips or tricks or anything to give you guys. I just want to talk about the state of the weapons and all the different attachments and stuff because I was going to make a video and I still might uh, make a video about the weapon attachments and just you know the best weapons and the best attachments to use for each weapon and stuff. And as I was going through and I'm trying to test out you know which attachments are the best for each weapon and different scenarios and which attachments make the bullet spread tighter and I, I gotta test all these different things. The attachments in this game are so confusing and so just absolutely horrible like i want to know who designed these attachments and i'll show you what i'm talking about let's go look at some of the weapons here let's look at the sws 10 sniper rifle uh let's go to ammunition so we have the standard issue extended mag that's the one that i have just selected as the the default magazine that i use okay so we have 80 75 81 25 rate of fires 55 you know but then we go over to the next one it says high power so the stats go up. It goes from 80 to 85, 75 to 80, and then 81 to 86. So it says the effective range goes up, but then it says recoil, reload speed, and rate of fire go down. But if you look at the previous one, the rate of fire says 55. But then this one says minus rate of fire, but the rate of fire is still 55. It is so confusing so it has all these minus symbols but the stats go up and the rate of fire stays the same it doesn't make any sense and then we go to the next one close combat it has all these plus signs plus recoil uh, plus reload speed and plus rate of fire so it has an even faster rate of fire but the rate of fire stays the same at 55 it's the same on all three 55 rate of fire so they need to fix this and it's not just on like this specific thing it's like for a lot of the attachments for all the weapons let's go over to the barrels okay so we have two different suppressors we have this one the 6ku suppressor it says reduces sound muzzle flash it's got all these stats and we go over to the heavy suppressor and the only difference is minus five uh firepower now, first of all, what does firepower even mean? There is nowhere in the game where it explains to you what firepower is. I, you know, looking at it as just a, you know, a regular player glancing at that, I would think firepower means damage because, you know, based off of everything else here, it just looks like firepower would mean damage. Supposedly, firepower doesn't mean damage from what I've seen on Reddit and stuff. I don't know how people know this because it doesn't explain it anywhere. What is the difference between these suppressors? Does one like suppress more sound than the other? And if that's the case, why doesn't it tell you that anywhere? It, like nowhere on the screen does it say, okay, the heavy suppressor suppresses the gun sound more than the other suppressor. And based off of the stats where it says no mini map spotting while firing, it says that for both of them. So if I'm not showing up on the mini map while I'm firing, what does it matter for the sound of the weapon. Like, what do I care if one's a little bit quieter than the other if both of them hide me from the minimap? I, I mean, I don't know. And it doesn't say how much louder one is than the other. They both have the little mute symbol on them. It's just super confusing. It makes no sense. Uh, then let's go over to this light machine gun. We go to the light machine gun and I'm gonna look at these barrel sizes. So we have the large barrel. It says minus rate of fire. The rate of fire is 650. So we go over here to the shortened barrel and it says it gives it a plus rate of fire, the exact opposite from the large, but the stats stay the same, 650 fire rate. 650 fire rate is the same for both, even though the stats at the bottom are flip-flopped. So what is it, Dice? It, like, it, there's simple things like this. Like, I'm going to have to go through and attach everything, each individual attachment, and write them down on paper and test everything because DICE, for some reason, can't label the stats correctly on their own weapons in their own game. Things like this make me believe that DICE didn't test this game at all. Battlefield 2042, to me, feels like the equivalent of a student writing an essay and they don't 
you know, check it for grammar mistakes. They don't proofread it. They don't check their sources. They literally just throw words on a paper, meet the word limit, and then submit it to the teacher and hope for the best. And then when the teacher gives them feedback and they're like, what the hell is this paper? Did you even like read this paper when you submitted it? And then the student's like, well, what the hell? My teacher's an idiot. The teacher gave me a bad grade. I worked hard on that paper. That's what it feels like to me. Battlefield 2042 feels like a student submitting a paper and they didn't do any research and they just typed whatever words came to their head and they turned it in on time just and hope for the best. Because if anyone that designed these weapons and these attachments played the game for more than 10 minutes, they would see the differences right here and they'd be like, hmm, wait a second, the attachments contradict themselves. It makes no sense. Another thing is like, why have multiple of the same attachment if they do the same thing? Like, it feels like some of these are just cosmetic only. And no one cares about cosmetic only options for attachments. If people are grinding their weapon, I could care less if my suppressor looks a certain way if it has the same stats. I want to have different stat options for my weapon. If I have this plus system, why on earth would I care what my suppressor looks like? I'm not even going to see my suppressor hardly at all in the middle of a gunfight as I'm running around through the battlefield. I'm not going to care what one of the two different suppressors looks like. Every single attachment should do something different to affect the stats. Like unlocking these different attachments and two or three of them do the exact same thing on paper. I mean, I could be wrong based off of what DICE has shown me so far. These, you know, these attachments could have hidden stats that I'm not aware of, but the cosmetics in this plus system is just stupid. And another thing I don't get is like these subsonic rounds. What is the point of these subsonic rounds? Like based off of what the stats say for the subsonic rounds, they do less firepower, accuracy, range, less reload speed. It's got a little mute symbol, so I'm assuming they're like quieter. But if the bullets are quieter, I mean, it doesn't say that you're hidden from radar or anything. It doesn't say you're hidden from the mini map and it would make no sense to use these over a suppressor. It says plus tracer visibility and plus muzzle flash visibility reduction but why would they have the mute symbol on the ammo type? So like them having the little mute symbol on over top of the ammo type makes me think, okay, these are probably quieter rounds. But at the same time, it only has a magazine size of 15 and they do less everything compared to every other ammo type. Like why on earth would I use these subsonic rounds? And you'll find these inconsistencies with pretty much every weapon in the game. So when I make my videos about what the best attachments and stuff are, it's probably gonna take me like 10 times longer than what it would normally take me to do. And this is another problem I have is that like when people play the new first person shooter, they shouldn't have to rely on YouTubers like me to go through and figure all this shit out. They shouldn't have to have YouTubers go through and look at the different attachments and write everything down and test them in, and load up a portal server and I have to test this on my own time and like write down okay this barrel says it does this but it actually does this and this says it has less rate of fire but it actually has the same rate of fire and this ammo actually does more damage than this ammo there are so many things wrong with Battlefield 2042 there's a lot of things missing from Battlefield 2042 compared to other battlefields but something as simple as the gunplay First of all, they, they had the gunplay messed up for the first couple weeks of the game. Luckily, you know, this latest update kind of fixed that. But the hit registration is still off. You can still hit enemies and they still don't die, so they need to fix that. But the weapon attachments? It's a first-person shooter, and you didn't even get the weapons right. There's only 22 weapons in the base game of 2042, not including Portal. There's only 22 weapons and you didn't even like test out the weapon attachments and get the right stats per attachment. If you're like your whole point of your game is to shoot things and you don't get the shooting thing right. Like what did they get right with this game? Every single aspect of this game has something wrong with it and it's getting like really annoying. Like I want to like this game. I really do because I love Battlefield. But the more I play it, the more that I just find things that are just so annoying. And it's just like DICE has proven to me time and time again that they cannot finish a game in two to three years. They just can't. 
Every single time DICE pushes out a game within two to three years, it is just a disaster, and then it takes them another one to two years to fix the game, to put it into a state that it should have launched in. So it takes them two to three years to develop it, and one to two years to fix it. Um, so if you guys are looking at your attachments and you're confused and you don't really understand what the hell DICE is talking about and you don't know if some attachments are better than others, I'm going to try my best to have some videos out there to try to make sense of everything for you. But that's basically going to do it for this video. I just needed to rant about this. You know, this little rant video helps me keep sane and is easier to pump out this video than it is to uh, make the actual attachment video. The actual attachment video is probably going to take me days. It's like basically learning a second language. I'm going to have to test all this different crap. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. I'm interested to hear your guys' opinions. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe your guys' version has the right stats. I mean, I do play on Xbox. Maybe PC is different. It beats me. And if you guys know what firepower is, if you know it's like what the hell that even means, uh, let me know down in the comment section because I don't know. I, I don't know if it's damage. There's no definition anywhere, so... If any of you guys know, can you please like leave a link to like try to show me? Because I tried to Google it and I couldn't find any answers either. So if anybody has any sources, uh, please let me know down in the comments. But that is going to do it for me, guys. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. Be sure to follow me on Twitch at Sony Plays Games Live. Be sure to join the channel's Discord, and I will talk to you all in the next video.